It was, a, it was a pregame skate in which uh, he, he wouldn't have done a ton. So the, the one thing that stood out was he, he looked like a good skater, you know, looked like somebody that can skate at the level. And then as we get into practice and uh, eventually get into games, uh, you'll get opportunities to show what, what he's all about. What's your, uh, your timetable right now for him? I'm sure. Not tonight. Practices. Not tonight. I, you know, I, I, it's a few practices. I, I, I don't want to get any further than that. But uh, right now, not tonight. And a few practices, and we'll see. Uh, I think it would be more likely next week than uh, than Saturday. But let's uh, wait and see what happens tonight. What kind of role do you envision for him? Like, what, what, can, what do you think he can? How, how can he help you? How can he make you better? I guess. If he's going to make us better, he's going to be a, a scoring winger. You know, he's going to yeah. be a guy who can score. He's, he scored lots of goals in college. I think he's got 70 some goals. In 100 games or something like that, and um, that's a lot of goals in college. So, um, you know, I had a chance to watch some of his shifts, I had a chance to talk to him before uh, he made his decision. The one thing that impressed me was I asked him, you know, what was most important to him. He said timing. And when you get an answer like that, that means you understand that you have to, that means you're a smart hockey player and you have to understand time and space and find ways to get open. And then when you get open, you can use your assets. Some guys, uh, they, they, they don't, the hockey doesn't start till they touch the puck. Uh, good offensive players think a step ahead. And it looked, you know, it, that answer to me said, I'm, I'm, he's always thinking a step ahead there. So that's great. Um, now he's got to come in and prove it.